So cutting this case study of cutting edge elite and Lucas Mendieta is a beautiful example of how a heart led business can be immensely successful at the bottom line. And when you hear Lucas's incredible story of challenge overcome, and then how he brought that the lessons he learned during that bumpy journey to the core values of the business that he and his colleague Nathan Perry run, you will understand why we at BizHack believe that the foundation of every successful small business is their business story and their story of me. If you successfully tell that story, you will attract the best talent, you will attract customers, you will make revenue, and you will make a change in the world, and you will make it a better place. And it is with my great uh, honor, I welcome Lucas Mendieta, BizHacker Award winner of Cutting Edge Elite. Thank you, Mr. Dan. Um, I will share my screen now. Let me just... That and a button here. Can you guys uh, see it and hear me? We hear you perfectly. Perfect. So this is pretty. This is a story of cutting edge elite, but it's also the story of me and how both of my my life and this business has intertwined and how we've in a way saved each other. Um, so I'll start off with the story of me. When I was 16 years old, I was chased out of my house for being gay in Greenville, South Carolina. So over the next couple of years, four years to be exact, I was initially sleeping in my car until my car got repossessed. I was on, on, on benches, under bridges, on friends' couches, literally all over the place. And I, I got to a point where I even had to figure out how to stretch $5, how I'm going to eat in a day. So I, I was super depressed and I attempted suicide multiple times. And throughout this whole process, eventually I made my, myself up to New York City in the fall of 2002, where because I didn't go to college or have any kind of business education, I could only get, you know, blue collared odd end jobs like construction, painting, you know, helping them move furniture, things of that nature. And then eventually I was working as a janitor and, um, because it was, a, it was a point of either work as a janitor or go back home to South Carolina. And that just was not an option for me because that equated to death. And so I, I cleaned my toilets with pride. And eventually I got laid off. And one of my friends says, oh, why don't you just work in catering and events? And I had no clue what that, what that was, but I did it. And I instantly fell in love working as a freelance cater waiter for all these random parties. It was for the first time in my life. I was passionate about something and I absolutely loved it. And so I wanted to learn more about the business. And so eventually I, I applied my street smarts into the business and, and, you know, then cutting edge elite was born. I, I was able to save up a little bit of money. Eventually I had $1,500 in my hopes and dreams. And we all know that's not really much of nothing, especially in New York city, trying to get established. Um, I then met my business partner, Nathan Perry, working a random job by, by chance. And, and, you know, I told him what I was doing, we partnered up and then, you know, we, we started to form, you know, a business and come up with a game plan. And we were very fortunate that we found people and businesses that believed in us. And, and, you know, cause at the time I was 25, 26 years old, you know, so that's, you know, a lot of responsibility that people are going to trust us with. And so from the beginning, we wanted to make sure that we ran a completely ethical company and that we treated everybody that worked for us like family, because I wanted to create the family that I felt like I never had. And so I, I like to say with a ragtag team of misfits and crazies, you know, who were my friends that we literally came together and we worked all these jobs and, and, and gave it 110% every single time. And, and through that, we were able to gain clients trust and I was able to break through barriers because people assume, oh, you're young. We don't know if we can trust you with our business yet, but we had to work twice as hard to make sure we got that. And then eventually we started getting referred. And so a snowball effect happened for Nathan and I and, and cutting edge. And so we became one of the go-to staffing agencies in five years in New York City. And these are photos from, you know, a few of the thousands upon thousands of parties that we've staffed over time. And so, you know, we started to figure out, okay, what next? What can we do to help grow our business and get out of, you know, just New York City and even Atlanta? And so we became NGLCC certified on a national level, and that's National Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. You know, we, we both applied and got accepted to Goldman Sachs uh, 10,000 Businesses, I couldn't go. Nathan went in my stead because I had to man the fort. 
but obviously I still learned every little thing that he that he learned as well, which was amazing. Um, you know, and then we spent a good time, a little over a year, becoming a compass group and a food buy approved vendor on a national level. And now we're like, the one thing that we don't know is marketing. So what do we do? And and through 10,000 businesses, we met Dan and BizHack. So we're like, aha, uh -huh, that's what we should do. We should take a course with them. Because obviously the problem was, I had no clue what in the hell was happening with marketing. Like literally, I would stare at business Facebook, it would look back at me, and that's as far as we got. So, you know, we, the solution was, let's take the BizHack course, just so at least we can get some knowledge of what's going on, and at least have some, you know, some information, because we literally were starting from zero, so why not? And so, you know, we started to get some of the, the, the resources and, and understand some of the tools, at least when it comes to advertising on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn, which really, you know, was a lot to help us out. This first funnel here is my, my first campaign. It was a brand awareness ad, just trying to get the name out there, you know, trying to figure it out. And I spent a total of 57, a little over $57 on there. We have 363 plays, over 5,300 impressions. Um, out of that, 339 web clicks. So, um, and it came out to uh, money per through play was 16 cents. But the one I really wanna look at is the retargeting campaign. Um, initially when I did it, I, I obviously said it wrong and I didn't know what I was doing, but thankfully I had amazing Natalie Dupont who was there to help me and clean up my ad. So the first ad that we, that I ran me targeting, I only got two leads. The second ad that once Natalie helped me clean it up, I ended up getting 32 leads. Um, you know, and it was a little over 11,000 impressions, 8,200, a little over 8,200 reached the 32 leads. Um, I just put a little bit more than I anticipated, but that's because I clicked the wrong button, but that's okay. It's a learning curve and I figured it out, but I ended up spending $249, $241.49, which came out to about $7.53 per lead. And I've, I've, I've been chatting with all those people right now. Events isn't coming back. So it's just a matter of waiting for that to come back um, when it comes to, to the events. But I estimated that even if only half of them ended up moving forward to use us, that's over $8,800 in sales right there and return on investment. So it comes out to about $36.60 per dollar that I spent on this ad when it came to this retargeting campaign. So now that, you know, my biggest ahas of all of this was a i had no idea what i was doing when it came to marketing like literally zero so coming out of this at any bit was going to make me a thousand times better you know just even figuring out how to navigate through facebook business manager which we all know we can pull our hair out how to you know target the audience you know just the whole process of putting an ad together and me farce gumping my way through trying to figure that out but for me my biggest ahas was be was that I shouldn't be so self-conscious about being the face of the business, that I am a huge asset to the business because my style and my storytelling and, and the story of me, which I learned through this course, really resonates with people. And, and therefore there's a, I'm able to make more of a connection, you know, and, and it's, you know, it does help me so much more to find people who believe in what I believe in. And, and so this course, it really made me remember why I started Cutting Edge in the first place and how, my personal journey is so important and, and how it's so intertwined with cutting edge and how it's really saved my life. And, and because I never even thought I'd be alive to, you know, to see 30 years old when I was going through that. And, and, you know, it gave me that fire, that hunger again. And that alone has literally made this course well worth it a million times over. Um, so what do we got to do next? We have to conquer and take over the entire world. Um, if anybody ever saw Animaniacs, they know Pinky and the Brain every day. They'd be like, what are we going to do today? And he's like, the same thing we do every day, take over the world. Um, <laughs> so, you know, obviously we want to apply everything that we've learned. So, you know, um, now that we've become a preferred vendor through Food by Encompass, they're just now waiting for us to pull the trigger to let them know when we can staff at multiple venues across the country. You know, from, from the information that we got, from uh, Goldman Sachs 10,000 businesses, just implementing that knowledge before COVID, we were already on our way from three to four and a half million in sales. And we were only in New York City and Atlanta, very, very little bits of touching base in Miami and LA, but not so much. And, you know, obviously now applying the, the tools that we learned from BizHack, and now we can start attacking multiple cities. So next week, I'm actually going to Dallas 
and you know houston um, i'm in austin after that for the week after that so i'll be down there for two weeks networking yes texas is crazy right now so i will be triple masking because there's a lot of insanity but obviously you know i gotta go you know work work it out and do what i gotta do so our five-year plan is a hundred million dollars in sales per year so we figure why not go big or go home when it comes to that so we have a lot of work ahead of us that we have to figure out nathan and i um in that is it. Oh, my computer froze. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, yes. we hear you great. We just don't see your video is all. Ah, okay. That's okay. So this is my thing. Where did the video stop? Just curious. About halfway through. Oh, okay. Lovely. <laughs> so that's okay. So we'll just say problem solution, funnel one, funnel two, my <laughs> that and now thank you thank you thank you guys i appreciate you for the time i know i went over a little bit um but my contact information is down there below if you're ever in need of a waiter bartender or you know an aesthetically pleasing person to work at a private event of yours we are here you know once uh we get through this good old pandemic thank you guys guys perfect, perfect. And, and we, we saw, we saw all of your, all of your all slides we we'll see your, see your video, video. Uh, uh, okay. So, uh, Lucas, as, as your coach, you know, I, I, I saw you really getting out of your comfort zone, right? You, I remember at the beginning when uh, uh, you decided to do your first ad and that uh, will be a video of, of you speaking, you know, it was definitely you were pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. And I am so glad you did. Um, it is so important in your business that you tell your story, right? And that's always the first thing, you know, Dan talks about and you, your, your story uh, is, is heartbreaking, but inspiring at the same time. And you really got out of your comfort zone, did your video, you, learned uh, about the platform and became more and more comfortable with it. Um, and you did all that with such a positive attitude. I think, you know, if, if there's one thing that I'm going to get, you know, from uh, this uh, adventure in the last six weeks together is um, how positive you are. And now, especially knowing what you went through, right? Um, it is. It has been such a, a, a pleasure and honor to to work with someone so uh, positive and, and authentic and, and, and just a, a, a good person. So um, I am so proud of you. I'm really uh, looking forward to uh, all events resuming and uh, and uh, you guys, you know, getting uh, uh, more and more uh, business and, and uh, why not conquering the world? So congratulations, Lucas. Thank you.